up beauties and welcome back to my canal in today's episode we are doing what's hot once again and we're eating our spicy tacos hey. Hey. <laughs> we're gonna be showing you guys our five favorite beauty products and in today's episode I have Miss Bianca hey guys <laughs> And we're gonna start off by showing you guys our number one favorite product. So for my first product, I'm gonna be showing you guys my new favorite mascara. This is from ColourPop and it is their Volumizing Mascara. I really like this mascara because of the wand. It kind of reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara, um, but I really like it because it doesn't leave my lashes clumpy and I feel like once I curl them and I put this on, my lashes don't like come back down, like they stay curled. And I love that because I don't have lashes. <laughs> Gross, eh? I have small eyes and no lashes, so this for me does wonders on my makeup, no makeup days, especially for work. So if you're looking for a good mascara for volumizing, lifting, and no clumping, I recommend this one for you guys. Then I guess I'll start with my mascara yeah. as well. So I just started trying this one out like a week ago, but I like it a lot. It is the NYX um, Skinny Mascara. This one helps me a lot with my um, lower lash my, or my lower lashes because um, it gets like in there in between each one of them, so it makes it more defined. Which other mascaras that are thicker, like that one with the thicker brush, it doesn't do that for me. So can I see it? This one helps a lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little, little. Oh yeah, super little. That's cute. Does it do like a good job in like actually like yeah, more brushing them out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> I actually have one. It, it doesn't have a small brush like that, but it has like a skinny brush too. Yeah. And I use that one for my bottom lashes too. I just tried this one. How much is it? I think it was like five bucks. Yeah. I got it at Target, so. That's a good one. <laughs> Try it out, guys. So, it's time for the first taco. So, in today's episode, we got four new sauces that we're going to be trying out. For our first sauce, we have Tabasco. And next, we have Tapatio, or how Bianca's friend likes to say, Tapatio. <laughs> <laughs> say that one for you. <laughs> we have Tapatio over here. And in the next sauce, we have Dave's Scorpion Pepper Gourmet Hot Sauce. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Scorpion hot? I don't know. <laughs> and then we have a vegan hot sauce that I wanted to try out. It is the Heartbeat Hot Sauce, and it has red habanero chilies inside. Oh. <laughs> so for the first sauce, we're going to be using Tabasco. So we're going to add this to our first taco. Tabasco's fine. <laughs> we'll survive. The is whack. It doesn't even have any good flavor in it. That's why we did it first. Mm -hmm. That's a waste of a taco. I also want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little disappointing. But I guess it's like setting us up for not failing. So, <clears throat> Bianca got to my house and my cat and my dog are inside the house. Mm -hmm. And she was sitting here and I was late, like always, and I was getting ready. <laughs> and my cat jumps on her lap. <laughs> and she's like, like this, kind of with her hands, like up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, how cute my cat likes her. And she's like, this would be so cute if I wasn't allergic to cats. <laughs> and I was like, me. <laughs> oh shit, let's get the cat out. So my animals are obsessed with her and my cat almost killed her today. And your kids are obsessed with <laughs> her. Oh yeah, my kids are obsessed with her too. My daughter wants her to sleep over. <laughs> oh yeah, she does. She does, She's unfortunately. With her. So let's talk about our next product. Do you wanna go first? Uh, I'll go first since you went first last time. So this was also a new product that I decided to try. I've seen a couple of makeup artists try this one and it is the YSL um, Blur Primer. Um, it does have some speck of sparkles in it, but when you put your foundation on, you don't really see it. It does have like a silicone-y type of feel, but it also does feel a little bit moisturizing, but I like this one. It really blurs out my pores, so I feel like it makes my makeup look a little bit more flawless. Are you wearing it today? I am. <laughs> I actually really liked it. She was, um, I tried, I tried it on, I put it on my hand, 
and I can feel the difference between this hand and this hand still. Like it feels really soft. So I'm gonna try it out. She said it's bougie and it's, it's pricey. pricey. <laughs> so we're gonna have to try it out at a VIB sale or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for my next product, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my favorite palettes. Pretty sure every girl has this in her collection. It is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the first one. <laughs> Not the bullshit that happened afterwards. The fault. <laughs> yes. Um, and it is one of my favorite palettes because it has almost any type of look that you can think of, you can do with this palette. You can do something natural, you can do something summery, you can do something more in the cooler tones, and if you're going to like a party, rave, or something, you can eat, you got colors here too. <laughs> you have a whole bunch of things to choose from here. I think it's a really good palette. <laughs> she can't talk, excuse me. I can't talk. It's a really good palette, very blendable. I love the colors. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. I love this color, these two colors here, and this one. Oh, they're my favorite. Gives me that like neutral, pinkish look. I'm in love with it. Are you more like neutral? Like you like neutrals more than color? <laughs> I'm a Latina and I feel like we Latinas like to stick to that bronze. What does that mean? I'm Latina too. I did not stick to just bronze. Oh no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Latinas. Okay, okay so I'm a basic ass Latina then because I like to stick to my neutrals. <laughs> but I have, um, I have like not light light skin but not super dark skin and i feel like with my skin tone when i wear like yesterday i did pink and i felt like bitch what are you doing like <laughs> <laughs> why are you wearing pink you uh -uh. fucking old bitch <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> i guess in that sense then yeah yeah it makes me feel old or i mean i'm only 28 28 but i just i feel like it makes me feel like and my daughter playing with makeup, you know? Okay. <laughs> but you look nice with it. I don't feel like I do. Don't get me wrong, I have a whole bunch of palettes and I try to do color, but I feel like if I'm at the grocery store with some pink on, I, I don't know. I I'm not gonna take you serious. Exactly, <laughs> they're gonna be like carding me and I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, I like to stick to my neutrals, but I praise the girls who can rock color because I wish that I could. I just do it. I love fun. your color, girl. <laughs> I'll be doing blue eyelids when I'm doing them. Yeah. I did I think I seen you do like a red look that I really liked. I did a red look too. Yeah. And then you were wearing Dodger colors and then you did blue and I really like that too. Yeah. I brought her on my channel because she's one of the people on Instagram that I follow that I feel she has a, a real job, a real fucking job, and she still looks bomb as fuck all the fucking time. Oh, thanks, boo. Yes, girl. <laughs> So I was like, I have to hit that girl up. She has to come on my channel. <laughs> my hype team. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, us girls, we have to stick together. It's yes. Girl power around here. Latina power. Yes. <laughs> so let's go on to taco number two. Next we have tapatio. 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 <laughs> We're gonna add a teaspoon. For all my Filipinas out there, <laughs> tapatio is how you say this one, okay? <laughs> Cheers, cheers. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Already? You mm -hmm. it? I can't handle the patio. I can handle the patio in my cup of noodles. In your cup of noodles. <laughs> Where it waters it down? With lemon too. <laughs> Ooh. Disgrace to Latinas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cheers. cheers. I also got the high POs again, guys. It's a Latino must have. The yes. Coke, the Michelada, the tacos, and the hot Cheetos. You said pickles? No. What did you say? <laughs> the Coke, the Michelada. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where did you have pickles? <laughs> <clears throat> so, I was kind of hesitant on whether or not I should share this product. But me and Bianca said, fuck it. <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway. Yep. <laughs> so, this product I actually got in Mexico. It is aceite de semilla de uva, which means uh, grapeseed oil. And if you smell it, oh god, it smells so good. It is one of the most natural, good smelling products that I've ever <laughs> smelled. And it is very hydrating. So you're supposed to apply this to the skin at night 
so that it can help hydrate your skin. So what I do is I apply my cleanser, toner, serums, moisturizer, and at the end, I apply this bad boy right here. And I just put a couple of dots, uh, drops and dots. <laughs> I drop a couple of drops on my face and then I just rub it in and it smells so good. I remember the first time that I tried it, like I went next to my husband and my, and my husband was like, it's not like uvas. <laughs> He's like, what is that? And I'm like, you like it? <laughs> so I definitely recommend this. I think it was like three or four dollars in Mexico. Um, and it's really good. It really lasts a long time because you don't need a lot since it's an oil. Um, I actually had a dropper and I used this much and I'm still not even done with that. So if you're going to Mexico, all my Latinas, I definitely recommend you getting this. It's really good for your skin. Rosarito parties. <laughs> yes. I really like it because most oils break me out. Like okay. they uh, clog my pores and this has never broke me out at all. So definitely recommend it. It's a good stuff from Mexico. Yes. Well then since you talked about that, then I'll just talk about my Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love this one just because um, when I wake up in the morning, I have really, really dark eyes and dark circles around my eyes. And I feel like after using this for such a long time, it's really brightened them up. It's not as purple as it used to be. It's like more like orangish now, <laughs> <laughs> orangish reddish tone, but not as dark purple as it used to be. So I feel like this is helping a lot and it's hydrating my under eyes. So this is that shit. Is the Holy grail. <laughs> I have that too, and that's what I use as my under eye cream, and it's so hydrating. Mm -hmm. And I love the way it smells. I'm I'm really big on smells. Like yeah. it smells good. I really like it. I don't like my skincare to have a lot of fragrance, mm -hmm. but it smells like bananas. Bananas? Yeah. I thought that was orange. <laughs> orange? No, it's banana. It's orange. Is it? To it's me, banana kind of like cream. That smells more like orange to me, does it? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it kind of has like a citrusy smell. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck it then, it smells like bananas. Whatever. Oh, oh, to me it smells like, <laughs> smells like oranges. I don't know, it smells good though. It smells really fucking good. Mm -hmm. And I really like it because it does help with dark circles. And since you're a nurse, you probably work late, right? Mm -hmm. So I definitely think that it's a good product. 12 and a half hour shifts. <laughs> Banana eye cream at night, in the morning, and then you're good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're on to taco number three. I'm scared. <laughs> this is where it gets hot. Yeah. Really hot. I'm I, excited. I told her that we're gonna add some sauces in there to ease our way into the hot ones, but I definitely wanted to step it up a notch, and I went on um, Amazon and Amazon actually tells you what hot sauces are on Hot Ones, which is the show that I watched I'm with sure. the hot wings. And this is Hot Ones approved. No. Okay, this one was the Dave's Scorpion, Scorpion pepper. pepper one. I'm telling her to uh, try the, what is it called? The Death Reaper chip. <laughs> oh yeah. Since she gave me the idea, she's gonna come do it with me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Do you watch, um, I Love Sarai? Yes. Have you, you should watch her do it. Her she did it? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I've seen that. So, I'm a makeup and skincare girl. When people start posting vlogs and shit, I don't watch it. Really? Yeah. I like the vlog. But some, <laughs> a lot of people have been telling me, like, why don't you vlog? And I'm like, I don't even watch that. So I'm, I actually really like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. More than, like, makeup? I like both. She just watch everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she made me watch a... What ASMR. The ASMR Twins. video. <laughs> And I was like, ew, <laughs> gross. Who wants to listen to that? Just because I can't. <laughs> They're like, I'm uh, like, I already can't deal with it when people eat like that. Oh, oh my God, do you smell it? Oh, ew. Uh. <laughs> it looks stings. It smells like ass. It's like a wannabe barbecue sauce with fucking bed in there. It stings. It stings. Ew. <laughs> God. Okay, well. Is it disrespectful to put that on my taco? <laughs> At this point, it's disrespectful to put it in our mouth. <laughs> oh my God. You have to add a good amount. Yeah, you went a little ham there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys, I'm actually scared for this one. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, it tastes good. My ears are ringing with hot. Your ears are ringing? I don't think Coke helps. <laughs> with the heat. You think it makes it worse? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that shit's hot. I'm not sorry to water you, like having water in your eyes. Our lashes are gonna fall off. <laughs> you all made me snot. <laughs> my muscles are melting. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could do the Death Reaper trip. We're gonna die. We are gonna die. I'm dying right now. We have to try and talk about product now. I can't. <laughs> like sucking in air hurts. I go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> my nose is running. So the next one is like my holy grail um, liquid eyeliner. I've been using this since I started doing makeup in eighth grade. <laughs> this is my holy grail, I swear. Um, this one's good because for me it doesn't smudge, it doesn't I'm dying. Smear. I'm dying right now. <laughs> this is it should be illegal to sell that. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I need some ice. Okay, I think I might have a piece of ice in my mouth. Like yeah. it still stings, but it's not as bad <clears throat> as when we first had it. <sighs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> so this ah! is sorry. <laughs> She's still dying. Oh god, I, I know I'm not one of the ones. Seriously? Mm. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, so this is my holy grail ever since I started doing makeup in eighth grade. Black liquid eyeliner. It's by Clinique. Um, to me, it's just the best one because it doesn't smear, it doesn't run, it doesn't mess up with anything actually. And I just love it. I draw a pretty precise winged liner, mm -hmm. so holy grail right here. <laughs> this one can't concentrate right now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so for my next product, every time I talk it makes it worse. So for my next product, I'm going to be showing you guys my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Mask. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna do this with ice in my mouth. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm gonna do this with boost mask. <laughs> I can't even understand you. <laughs> this is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Mask. <laughs> and I really love these because, number one, they are super affordable. What? <laughs> it's um, a makeup video, our five favorites plus ASMR. <laughs> I don't know how you're breathing. I, can, I can't even breathe right now. I'm trying to breathe in my mouth, but that hurts. <laughs> okay, get it together. I'm not a bitch. I'm a bitch right now, though. Come on, Latina power. I know. I'm a burp again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I really like these because they're really affordable. They're like three bucks. They're like two fifty something, and oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to talk. I can't help but laugh. <laughs> it's not funny. Mine already faded, so you did. Mm -hmm. My mouth hurts. <laughs> I'm doing this with ice in my mouth. Oh well. So really affordable and it's really hydrating. I don't know if you guys have tried their mm -hmm. the Hydro Boost gel is a good moisturizer. I love it. I love using that to moisturize before makeup because gels aren't gonna like be all thick and you know 
moving everything around your skin kind of just absorbs it so when i saw these i was like oh my god i have to have them and i like to use these um especially like when my skin needs like a pick me up and it hydrates your skin so good it leaves your skin really soft and they're less than three bucks so where'd you get them at target really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're like 250 something i wonder if these would work good for after traveling you know how you get oh jet, like, lag. Uh, jet lag yeah mm -hmm. i definitely recommend them but, oh, i'm gonna take that when i go on vacation <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go on to the heartbeat hot sauce with the habanero red habanero chilies from moco melting. we were gonna go to the bar of fucking mocosas i know hi right, guys <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> Can I get a shot? <laughs> Alright guys, so even though we're still dying from the last one, because this is some bullshit. This right here, it's like hard too. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. I mean, we don't know what F tastes like, but... <laughs> Alright, so we added some of the heartbeat hot sauce onto our taco and here we go. Oh. oh, I'm scared. Cheers. <laughs> it's definitely not like this one. Mm -mm. I can taste the habanero, but I can't. It's not like spicy. Tries the ghost pepper one instead. <laughs> Absolutely not. But it has blueberry. <laughs> Are you mocking me right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that one wasn't as bad. But it didn't taste great either. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't like, oh my god, it's delicious now. I think I'll stick to the tapatio. <laughs> the tapatio was way better. All right, so. On to the next product. So for my next product, I am gonna show you guys my Bio Elements Power Peptide. So this, I can't even breathe. Continue, I'm gonna eat your taco. <laughs> <laughs> so this was recommended to me by my facial lady. Um, she always recommends me products that she uses on her, on her clients. And peptides are really good for anti-aging benefits. So, <clears throat> Your girl's 28. I ain't getting <laughs> any younger. I'm getting older. So when it comes to getting older, I try to find any products that are going to help with that. Anything that's going to help with wrinkles, um, anything that's good for your skin. I find it to be that you don't want to wait until you have to. Um, you don't want to wait until you have to like fix your skin. You want to like keep your skin hydrated and give it the nutrition that it needs, give it the serums it needs to keep your skin healthy throughout your years. Don't wait until you're 40 and try to go get some Botox and think that that's gonna help. Like, it might help for a little bit, but you're gonna need those Botox consistently because you've never kept up with your skin. So, I use this right after my toner. So I put my toner on and then I spray this on my face. And she said you can use this morning and night. So I definitely use it. She said use it before makeup too. So I keep this in my cabinet and I use this all the time. So I definitely recommend this to you guys. Power Cut Dyes. Hmm, I've never heard of that one. I actually used to use their products and then I stopped using them. Um, you know how sometimes when you use a product so much it stops working as good? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what happened, but I never tried the peptides. Okay. And I added, I added this to like my skincare and I feel like I don't know if it's because I'm getting facials a lot more often I'm taking really good really good care of my skin but I do feel like it does help hmm. I have, wait where'd you say you get that up <clears throat> um I got this from the lady who, the, the who does facials. my facials okay if you're trying to go girl let me know I'm going with you next time she I've does. been wanting to go she oh my god dude I love her so she has this like little studio and you go in and there she she has her own little room her own little 
like um, bed where you lay down and she pampers you like she mm -hmm. treats you like a queen like she wraps so your hands <laughs> in like hot towels she wraps your face in towels she does all the skincare there for you and you hear like birdies and like waterfalls like it's very calming it's mm -hmm. like a moment for you to just go for an hour and a half the facial is like an hour and a half well, she, she like um, does everything so she cleanses your skin she puts like face masks uh -huh. <laughs> face masks on and then she'll take them off and then she'll add more stuff to your skin and then she has like this mister where it, um, it like misses your face mm -hmm. and it opens up your um, pores and then she extracts like any extractions that she sees. After that, then she adds like serums. Um, the facial stuff that she uses, she makes right there. So okay. like blueberries, strawberries and stuff, like she makes her own stuff too. And she's really good. Like I really like how my skin feels afterwards. Right. And it's only like 65 bucks. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Oh, me. Um. <laughs> I'm like, which one do I pick? So I'm just going to talk about the lashes, my favorite lashes, which are the Faux Mink Lily Lashes in Miami. I'm wearing those right now. <laughs> These are my favorite. A girl needs glam all the time because I look bald without lashes, okay? <laughs> my eyelashes don't curl. Like a bird with no feathers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly like that, okay? So I need all the extra glam. And she says my eyes are big and I always thought that they were small. So. We just had like a five minute argument about <laughs> okay. that. She thinks her eyes are small. I had really chink eyes. They used to call me squints all the time. So bitch wear. <laughs> Maybe they're a little bit. Look at my hurt. eyes are so small. Like, are you serious right now? She's like, like look at all the white you can see. Seriously, like I have to like really try to open my eyes for you to see any like white on my eye. Like all you see is brown. Like look at that. Look at that right there. Yeah. All brown. <laughs> Not only that, but like Doing makeup, a lot of people expect you to do like cut creases and all mm -hmm. this. I have no lip space for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do the most. Like I don't have anywhere to draw Halos. rainbows and shit on my eyes. Like my eyes are little, but I work with what I got. <laughs> so looks good though. Thanks, friend. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our five favorite beauty products. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that you guys found something interesting in. Bianca's products or my products. I think this is a great way for people to try things that they've never seen before or heard of and I'm definitely gonna be trying your YSL primer. The bougie stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is so cute and I, like I said I really like how it felt on my skin. It made it feel like super soft but not like rubbery mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like that. So even though we burnt our taste buds <laughs> off her mouth. <laughs> Little disappointed in this sauce. It's not what I thought it was going to be, mm -mm. but I mean, it is what it is. I think my stomach's going to pay for it tomorrow. I don't think you could handle a hotter one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't die. She was just like, are you okay? She said, you keep burping. Dang, I have to do nursing while I'm not at work. <laughs> so I want to thank Bianca for coming on my channel. Thanks I really appreciate me. it. <laughs> I appreciate, you know, the love and support that I get from my amigas. Of course. <laughs> Nobody's going to have to hang out outside of this. Heck yeah. <laughs> We got her facials with the heck. I know. <laughs> so if you guys want to check out her Instagram, her Instagram name is oh b underscore your ten. <laughs> and you're just like insert here. So. I am gonna insert it just in case you're in here what she said. <laughs> so that's it for me, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed our video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. Adios. Adios.